What is up guys, how you doing? It's James here from J Ray Games and today I am here to tell you how you can reduce the amount of drift that you have on your PSVR while playing on PC. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Alright, well today we're talking about headset drift and if you own a PSVR then you know that these headsets tend to drift off to the left over time. It's annoying, it has to be reset and it just it happens all the time. Now a lot of people have commented and asked and said well how can I fix the drift so it's not so um, noticeable or so it doesn't have to be reset as often. And actually, um, I've responded to this so many times, I figured I'm just going to make a video and show it so that everybody can have their drift fixed. Basically, inside the headset, you've got these gyros that are trying to figure out where you are in the space that you are kind of working or playing in. And it's not a perfect system. And Trinus tries really hard to calibrate or to adjust for the amount of drift. But what you can do really quick and easy to get this to work is basically, let's just, we'll just launch Trinus here. And I'm just going to switch to my desktop view here. But here's our Trinus PSVR. I'm just going to run it up. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys. There it is. And I've got my headset turned on, or at least I'll turn it on right now so that it is on. There comes the lights. It is now on. And you'll notice that when you start up Trinus, it is going to calibrate the sensors and you're supposed to keep it on a flat surface and leave it in the direction that you're going to be using it. And here's your numbers. Now these numbers are telling you how well those sensors were calibrated. And if you look at this first number right here, it is counting down very quickly. All right, I can see that this number is changing quite rapidly. And that number right there is the, the drift that is happening to the left. So we know that that number is changing, it's decreasing, and that is causing our left drift. Now watch what happens. If I stop this and I start it again, by the way, this is not the most elegant solution but we can start it again. And you'll notice that those numbers um, are not changing very much anymore. If you look at that number now and you look at these numbers, they're not really changing by very much. Now that number seems to be going down a lot slower than it was before. So what I can do is it is actually still decreasing. I can stop it one more time and start it again. What we're doing here is we are locking the gyros so that it really has a good fix. It has a lot of information on the amount of drift that is taking place within the headset. And you can see now that number is not changing at all. It is pretty much steady at where it started. It was at 75, 284, 75, and it's still sitting right about there. If you're still seeing drift, you can stop it and start it again, and it's going to work even better. Um, at a certain point, it'll just stop drifting altogether, and it'll have locked on, and it will work. All right, guys, well, that's the quick tip on how to fix the drift. Probably my shortest video ever. Uh, you may not even have to watch this one at one and a half times. Uh, I know, it's shocking, but anyways, um, if you found that useful, Make sure to comment and like and subscribe and I'll make sure to get back to you and, and help you out if you're having any issues. If you have no idea or if you've never looked at setting up your PSVR on PC, make sure to check out my other videos to see how it's done so that you can be enjoying your Steam VR or your non-VR libraries on the PC. And be sure to check out our Patreon page to support the channel if you are interested. The link will be up there as well. Till next time, thanks for watching and see you guys in VR.